Oh, <laughs> the camera's on. Forgot about that. Ah, oh, it is the most gorgeous day. And uh, oh, it's the 23rd of February which is the day after the 22nd of February, which is completely obvious, I know. But last night was that wonderful full moon on the auspicious day that has all the twos in it. And, uh, and I've been sitting here, I lit my fire, even though it's um, pretty mild outside and beautiful, and sat admiring the view and immersing myself in what I could see with... Um, with a lovely hot cup of tea and everything feels so phenomenally alive from the little songbirds that duck and dive across my across my my field of vision to the insects that are waking up and, and flying in and exploring and there is just some magic in the air today. Now there was some magic a few days ago when it was unbelievably freezing and I'll share a little bit of the video that I took that morning so that you can see the contrast. But today I am I'm filled with that sort of exuberance of spring and if I was a little lamb I'd be bouncing around all over the place. I am really inspired with where things are taking me and and I'm almost at the end of my Woman in a Yurt um, video diary. Uh, just a couple more weeks and I'll be in a tiny weeny little caravan. Um, and it seems that it's time for me to set myself another adventure for another video diary. And this time it's going to be not so much about living in a caravan in a field full of hens. That... I'll do little bits about that, but this is more about the deep mythology of Wales. It's more about being out in the open, moving my body, climbing up hills. Um, there's something very magical and the word pilgrimage is coming up. So I don't quite know yet where I'm going to be visiting, but, but I'm, fairly, yeah, I'm fairly certain that I'll create this beautiful magical pathway to explore and um, <laughs> when I can make more sense with that then I'll let you know but I, I hope today is as spring-like and hopeful and inspiring as mine and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye. It's only just gone eight this morning and I've started the fire early. You'll see why. If I pan round, <laughs> apart from the fact that you'll see the frost in a minute, but you can just see over those hills, look at the quality of that colour. I've come to know that that very pale icy blue <laughs> is exactly what it means. It's very, very cold here this morning stunning as always. Let's have a little look and see if we can capture the sheep there. Look at them there, all huddled down. Oh, I love them being here, these are my neighbours. But it's just very, very icy today. So I'm going to hop back into bed and I'll catch you later. Bye.